Mention Colombia and many people think either of coffee or violent drug cartels. But hidden behind the issue of drug trafficking is a particularly vicious human rights crisis that's been overlooked for far too long. Terrible abuses have been committed by state security forces, guerrilla armies, or army-backed paramilitaries. In the midst of this situation, as many as four million people have had to flee in fear of their lives, and the number is growing all the time. Trade unionists, women's organizations, indigenous leaders, and other social activists have been targeted for speaking up for the defense of human rights. So too are communities that are courageously trying to assert their right to live in peace. And I'd like to tell you about one of those communities. It's called San Jose de Apartado. The people who live there are small-scale farmers. They have families, they have children, they don't want anything to do with the, with the violence, so they decided to form a peace community. And since they did that, more than 160 people have been killed. Children have also been killed in particularly cruel ways. And the threats and attacks are continuing to happen. In fact, a young man just barely escaped with his life days ago. The Colombian government has a responsibility to protect the inhabitants of San Jose, but they are failing to do so. The Canadian government recently negotiated a free trade agreement with Colombia, and this gives the Canadian government a particular responsibility and an opportunity to convince and press their Colombian counterparts to do the right thing. And this is where you come in, because your letters of concern to both governments can convince them to do the right thing and protect the people who live in San Jose. We know that letters from people like you are taken very seriously. They are what make politicians sit up and listen. And that's why I'm asking you to take action on behalf of the men, women and children who live in San Jose de Apartado. Never underestimate your power to make a difference and to save lives.